Hey Virgo, what's good Virgo? How are you? I pray that you're well Virgo. Welcome, welcome to Madama At. I will be doing a next 48 love reading for you Virgo. I don't have any intuitive messages, so we're just going to get straight to it Virgo, okay? Just remember this message will resonate with you. Just take parts of the message that sound like your story. Leave the rest for other Virgos. Alright, Virgo, so let's get a love oracle message for you first, alright? Unplug, Virgo. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So you're being called to unplug, Virgo. Whether that's from social media, whether that is, if you have your, uh, if you are just plugged into anything, whatever that is, make sure that you just unplug yourself, recharge yourself, Virgo, okay? If you've been working a lot, Virgo, which we know that you do, okay, you're being, you're being called to just take a break, okay? Work a little less, all right? Give yourself some time to relax, to unwind, okay, to unplug from the world, go off the grid for a couple days. Just so you can get clear-headed here, Virgo. Okay? What is this situation about? Look what I just pulled out. <laughs> what is this situation for Virgo said? What is this situation of unplug about for Virgo? Why are you calling Virgo to unplug? What is this situation about? <clears throat> Entrapment. Pregnancy, money, heart strings. So Virgo, somebody could be trying to trap you, okay? With a pregnancy, or somebody could be using money to try to trap you, or somebody could be playing on your heart strings here, okay? So it's calling you to unplug here. Whatever it is that you're plugged into here, whatever you're, you could be working a lot here for money here. This could be trapping you here. Or whoever you're plugged into, okay? Somebody could be trying, somebody or something could be trying to trap you, Virgo. So be mindful of that. Clarify, unplug, Virgo. Clarify, unplug, Spirit. So we got. Ooh, the High Priestess. We got the Sun card. Virgo. You could be connecting to a Gemini, a Leo, a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Cancer. I see somebody who is sitting on this platform. Somebody here is blocking out the sun. <laughs> wow. So somebody here is blocking out their happiness. Somebody is intuitive on this platform. And I see somebody here. You could be marrying somebody, Virgo. Okay. I see there's two masculines here dancing under the sun. So somebody here could be a same-sex orient. Okay. I see that there is an intuitive guide or a mistress on this platform here. And I see somebody here is blocking out what looks like their happiness or this Leo or this Gemini. Yeah, somebody is unplugging. Somebody is intuitively going towards their happiness or their confidence. You definitely could be marrying this person or this is you. Clarify entrapment. The five of pentacles. So somebody here could be creeping around at night, around your house here, this Leo. Somebody here could be feeling left out. Okay. It's interesting too, because I see somebody could be hidden behind this church. They could be watching you, because that's your energy. So somebody could be watching you creep around at night. It's interesting, too, because it's like, you see me? <laughs> you see me? 
You could be working with the Leo who's trying to entrap you, Virgo. Terrifying trap. You could be trying to entrap you with a pregnancy or playing on your heartstrings or, yeah, temperance. Could be a Sagittarius here, a Libra. So, Virgo, you're the Five of Pentacles, so you could be feeling left out here or you could be working with this Sagittarius here to try to entrap somebody. I see there's an earth angel here. Somebody's very balanced here in their emotions. Okay. I see this angel here who could be pouring out their emotions here in their work. Somebody here could be feeling unsupported or left out here. Okay. So you could have been working with this Sagittarius that was trying to trap somebody with a pregnancy or play on somebody's money here, trying to trap somebody utilizing money or playing on somebody's heartstrings, okay? Or Virgo, you could just be creeping around somebody's house. Somebody sees you if you are, <laughs> just so you know. Because somebody's very intuitive, somebody's very confident. And whoever is very intuitive, somebody could have unplugged or Virgo, this is you. But you're the five of pentacles, that's your energy here. So you could be creeping around somebody's house or around this church. Could have five high priestess. Aunt Caroline. Yeah, somebody could be some sort of fortune teller. An ex of yours? Somebody's very intuitive here. And somebody here could be either on TV or somebody likes to play cards or somebody's some sort of risk taker. I see the fortune is shifting here. Okay, excuse me, the will is shifting for somebody to have great fortune here. Because I see somebody is unplugging. It looks like somebody could be going off the grid. Clarify the sun card. Gullah Jack, which is the hanged man here. Somebody got a bounty on somebody's forehead, somebody's third eye. I just realized these are all majors. So there's a Leo here. A Pisces, a Taurus, a Sagittarius that you may need to be unplugging from, working less. Because look, working less is the Five of Pentacles as well. So if you're working with somebody here, because somebody could be feeling some sort of loss in their money or Somebody could be just creeping around at night. There could have been delays here in somebody's happiness or somebody's confidence here. Because I see somebody here, whoever's on this platform, somebody's blocking out these delays because it looks as though somebody's unplugging here from what looks like being on camera or... Or somebody... Somebody's blocking out somebody recording them. Could be this mistress, Virgo. Okay. Somebody could be an aunt or this could be your aunt. Somebody could be from Charleston. Clarify by the pinnacles. <clears throat> What's the five of pinnacles? Yeah, somebody here was trying to hang somebody, this Leo or this Pisces. Somebody had a, what looks like a target on somebody's third eye, six of knives. So I see somebody here is turning away and they're moving to peace. I see somebody's being guided, guided to balance in their emotions. Somebody would look like yeah, they're moving away from this entrapment, from this pregnancy, or from this money, from these 
somebody trying to play on somebody's heartstrings. Clarify the temperance. Bishop C H Mason. Somebody could be a Mason. Somebody could be a bishop. Okay. But that's Bishop Bishop C H Mason is the hierophant in that deck. Somebody could be magnetizing, hypnotizing. Somebody could be under a spell. This Leo or this Sagittarius, a Libra, a Taurus. Or you, Virgo? Yeah, man. Could be a Sagittarius or a Taurus here who has trapped you. Or is trying to trap you with the pregnancy. So just be mindful. <laughs> Because, Virgo, your energy is the Six of Knives and the Five of Pentacles. That's your energy. And you either feel left out of this church or this business. Somebody sees you creeping around. Because it looks like you may want to move towards whoever this earth angel is. Somebody is balanced here. Somebody's in the public eye and they could be hypnotizing or magnetizing or somebody could be a mason or some sort of bishop, some sort of preacher, okay? Some sort of teacher here, some sort of healer, some sort of earth angel here. And I see somebody here, it looks like somebody is balancing out their emotions. They're moving to peace here. Somebody's turning away, they're unplugging here. From feeling unsupported here. Because somebody was trying to entrap somebody. Somebody's turning away from these delays here. Yeah, somebody's blocking out what looks like a Leo, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, a Gemini. 33 could be significant. 55 could be significant. It's interesting. You got five, six, seven. Yeah, so Virgo, you're being called to unplug here, okay? Do less. Say less. Work less, okay? Because you intuitively know that an aunt of yours could have been trying to cause delays to your happiness or your confidence. This aunt could be a mistress or somebody is an aunt. The name Caroline could be significant. The name Jack could be significant. Okay. The initial CH could be significant. Somebody could be from Charleston. Okay. And somebody was trying to, what looks like, bring an end into your fortune. If you are this intuitive guide on this platform and you're very confident here. Somebody could have been mirroring you. Somebody could have been copying you, recording you. Somebody was trying to hang you to dry. Somebody was trying to put a target on your third eye. This mistress, this Pisces, or this Leo or a Sagittarius. Could even be a Capricorn, Gemini, another Taurus. But you could have blocked this person yeah, somebody was recording you. So that's that's why you're being called to unplug. If you post, if you put something on social media or on a platform here, you could be blocking out. You could be blocking something out, okay? Yeah, taking some sort of risk. You could be some sort of gambler. It's interesting, this mistress, this aunt, could have been trying to bring delays to your son if you have a son. Yeah, but I see you're moving to peace here. I see you moving to peace here, and I see you're going towards what looks like enlightenment to balance here, to peace. 
to being this healer here. Or you could be hypnotized here, creeping around somebody's house, trying to entrap somebody. Because you could be watching somebody who's very peaceful here, somebody who could have unplugged here, and either somebody intuitively knows that you were creeping around somebody's house, because somebody could see you, or somebody was doing this to you. Yeah, follow your intuition, Virgo, because I see you could be some sort of fortune teller, and on this platform, you could be very confident, and you're blocking out these delays here. It looks like you're enlightened here, that somebody here was recording you. It's funny, because in this deck, how I'm seeing things now, somebody could be mixed or melanated. And there could be somebody of European descent. Okay, it could be two masculines. I definitely see same sex. It doesn't even have to be that. It could just be that type of mindset. But I see somebody here was creeping around your work. And it's like somebody is shocked that you can see them. Or this is you. Okay, so I'm going to leave that here. I pray it resonates, Virgo. Please like, share, subscribe. If you like a personal read, that information is down below. Until next time, peace.